Iconic strawberry carving on Front Street in Owego has been around since 2011, and over time it has deteriorated, but this has spurred a community effort to rebuild it. WNY's Connor Friedhoff traveled to Owego to view the scope of those efforts. This is Owego's wooden strawberry sculpture. It's been around since 2011, and it's seen better days. However, there is now a community effort in place to help replace the strawberry, and there are many partners out there that are hoping to see completion. The strawberry was created by local arborist Chris Eberly following the Susquehanna River floods of 2011. Since then, it's become a local landmark of Owego. It's been featured in social media posts, is often visited by passersby, and has even been featured in official documents describing Owego. This was placed here more than a decade ago, and because it's highly visible right on a main street in Owego, it w became a tourist attraction. Lots of people walk by here. They take pictures of themselves. They do selfies. They sit on the riverbank here and have picnics. Kim Tran has allowed the strawberry to reside on the land she lives on and is leading the charge in organizing the rebuilding effort. The community has banded together to save the strawberry, harboring support from Southern Tier businesses along the way. Uh, Junior JR's Chainsaw Creations from Elmira is going to come on Strawberry Festival June 15th and carve the new strawberry right in front of us. We have people like uh, Bree at the Belleville Lockwood Inn who is helping us with social media. We've got a GoFundMe campaign. Recently, a professional assessment of the carving status revealed that it could not be moved or adjusted without a high risk of further decay. See the new sculpture come in. There'll be a live chainsaw carving taking place on the 15th of June during Owego Strawberry Fest. We'll have the full details for you on our website, WENY.com. In Owego, I'm Connor Friedhoff reporting for WENY News.